All right, we have an equation that is solved for y, but there are other variables involved in this equation, m, x, and c. And we're going to solve for x on the left side here, and then we're going to take the same equation and solve for c over on the right-hand side. So I'm trying to solve for x, so notice here's where x is. So this 7m is really just the coefficient of x, and then I have minus 8c. So the first thing I want to do is isolate the problem so that the x term is by itself on one side. So I'm going to add 8c to both sides. So that would give me y plus 8c equals 7 mx. I just added 8c to both sides, so the 8c is no longer on the right-hand side anymore. And now, if this was just 7x, we would divide by 7, but it's 7mx, so instead of dividing by 7, we'll divide by 7m. And so now we have actually solved the equation for x. We have y plus 8c over 7m equals x, but I like to write it like this, x equals y plus 8c over 7m. So we have just solved the equation for x. All right, now let's look over on the right-hand side. This time we want to solve for c. Well, I notice that the coefficient of c is negative because I have a negative 8. So what I'm going to do is add 8c to both sides. So watch how I'm going to do that. And I'll explain why I did it that way. I'm going to add 8c to both sides so that the coefficient of c is positive, and it'll be on the left side of the equation. I won't have to do this extra step I did over here on the left, rewriting it. So I have 8c plus y equals just 7mx. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I want to isolate this, the um, term that has c, which is the 8c. So I need to subtract y from both sides. So if I subtract y on the left side, I'll just have 8c, and on the right side, I'll have 7x, 7mx minus y. And then our last step would just be to divide both sides by 8 to isolate c. Now, this is not the only way you could have done this. You could have kept the negative 8c on the right side of the equation and divided by negative 8 in the very last term, and it would look slightly different if you did it that way. So if you try it on your own and do it, your answer will probably look like this. You'll have y minus 7mx divided by negative 8. That's probably what it would look like at the end. These are actually equivalent to each other because if you multiply the numerator by negative 1 and the denominator by negative 1, it looks like the other one. Okay.